Today, we're at United Plate Glass in West Butler, Pennsylvania to show you how spandrel glass and insulating glass units are manufactured. Like almost all glass fabrication, the work begins at the cutting line, where large glass sheets from primary glass manufacturers, such as Vitro Architectural Glass, are unpacked and dropped, one piece at a time, often with mechanical glass handling equipment like you see here. A computerized numerical control, or CNC, cutting bridge will score the glass to its final dimensions. Automatic edge deletion may also occur on the cutting table if the glass has an MSVD, or soft, low-E coating, present. Edge deletion is a mechanical process that removes the low-E coating from the perimeter of the glass light, where the spacer sealants will make contact. The glass is then snapped along the score lines and waste pieces are collected for industrial recycling. While this process is typically called cutting, the glass is never actually cut, but rather scored and broken in a controlled fashion. Now that the glass parts are in their final sizes, the pieces are edge seamed and washed. These large industrial glass washers, properly maintained and operated with excellent rinse water quality, are designed to thoroughly clean the glass while protecting MSVD or soft, low-E coatings. Although horizontal edge seamers and washers are common in the industry, this particular vertical line both seams and washes cut glass in a single, automated line. When glass is delivered here to the spandrel line, it has already been cut to its finished size and washed. It will be inspected and put through a second washer before it reaches this roll coater. The liquid-looking ceramic frit has been pre-mixed and tested before it cascades over the roll coater and is spread evenly over the surface of the glass. This ceramic coated glass goes through a drying oven set at 400 degrees. At this point in the process, the spandrel glass is considered green ceramic fritted glass and is moved to the heat treating line for either heat strengthening, where the glass is heated and allowed to cool slowly, or tempering, where the ceramic frit is fired and fused to the glass, then cooled quickly. Ceramic frit can be screen applied in a range of dots and other aesthetic patterns to make spandrel glass. There are other processes and materials that can be used to produce spandrel glass as well. Please see our spandrel glass video for more information. This is a computer-controlled vertical insulating glass assembly line at United Plate Glass. Whether annealed, heat strengthened, or tempered, both lights are oriented, placed on the line, and washed again. A pre-sized and assembled spacer with the primary sealant on both sides is added to the first light. The second light is mated to the now assembled first light and spacer and the assembly is pressed. Finally, the secondary seal is added and the completed insulating glass unit is inspected and packaged for shipping. We hope you've enjoyed learning about how spandrel glass and insulating glass units are manufactured. For more information on heat-treated glass, view our heat-treated glass video on the Vitro Glass Education Center website. For complete technical information on choosing the right type of heat-treated glass for your project, see the Vitro technical document TD138 on vitroglazings.com or call Vitro at 855-VTRO-GLS or 855-887-6457.